From very young, it was always asking questions about the why, the how, the who, and the why nots. And so the trajectory that I've been on for a long time has been one towards racial justice. We have to abolish the death penalty. It is a path that has put her in the forefront of controversy and change. Those families of those murder victims didn't get their justice. This community organizer didn't intend to be the face of a movement, but when voices were silent, she spoke up. A righteous cow. When I think Jamala Rogers, the first thing I think is teacher. And it was curious later on to find out that that was also her background in education. She really wants to help people actually identify their own power and step into that. One of the things about being a human rights educator is like you always try to be mindful of those tensions of people who are not getting their needs met by those folks who are part of the reason why those sectors are not getting their needs met. Historically, who's underrepresented, who's most exploited, time and time again, it's poor people, people of color, women. I happen to be represented in some of those sectors. Our media landscape has really thinned out. Right now in St. Louis, there are very few voices speaking as she is on the issues that she is. Issues of social justice with dramatic outcomes, which sometimes make headlines. Rogers' efforts to free Ellen Reasonover after 16 years in prison made an impact statewide. That case really did open up for Missouri folks inside the prison system who were inspired to say, if Ellen can argue her case, so can I. And so you started to see a number of people that have actually been exonerated in Missouri. And so I was really proud to be a part of that whole effort. A lot of people, when they see her, they think intensity and they think seriousness, but she has one of the most youthful personalities. I remember once we did a conference at Forest Park, and as we were leaving, we walked down the stairs and she jumped up on the railing and kind of did the policy act coming down. Even with all the stress, even with all the intensity, she has that playful side still. But Jamala's outspoken advocacy can sometimes make her a target. Her family, readers, and those courageous leaders who paved the way are her sources of strength. Maya Angelou uh, did a recent interview that and she talked about courage as being something that has to be developed. And that really struck me because I think that's what's happening in our society, that people, for whatever reason, don't have the courage to stand up for themselves. And therefore, when they need to stand up for someone else, they can't find the courage to do that. And so I really hope that despite all the slings and arrows that come, that's coming at me, we create spaces for the people that I think are most vulnerable in this society and who don't necessarily have the voice to get what they need and to get what they deserve.